Anyone else, or should we go ahead and get started? We can go ahead and get started. Okay, well, it's six o'clock. I'm going to call the meeting of Community Development Authority for September 22nd, 2022 order. And the first item is the roll call. Abby? Brar? Here. Parker? Here. Furlong? Furlong is not here. Um, Nelson? Here. Nelson. Nelson's here? Oh, yes. Here. Olson? Here. And Weber? Here. I believe the only member we're missing is Furlong. Okay. All right. Well, that's how it is. So, uh, okay. So, the first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. I'd move approval. Need a second? I'll second. second. Okay, any corrections or additions or uh, changes? No. Okay, all those in favor of the motion to approve the minutes of the Community Development Authority for September 10th, 2022, uh, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes. I like that hat, Kari. <laughs> oh, I just had my dog out for a walk and I'm all sweaty, so. <laughs> Staying <Let's> on. <laughs> okay, so the there's only one item on the agenda that the recommendation to allocate funding for temporary improvement at Stonehorse Green, and this is uh, for the lighting, not to exceed dollar four thousand. So, Abby, you want to take it, or who is going to take sure. it? Yep. Um, the day after okay. the last CDA meeting, um, we had a meeting with just a few members, like a working group meeting, and we came up with um, this idea where we would ask the ask PKK Lighting to um, to to pound in a minimum of four posts to use um, what is it called? I, I forget. Oh, the high tensile high wire? Tensile wire. Yes, thank you. Mm. Use high tensile wire between the posts and then to string the lights um, going north to south. So we would have four separate strands of lights um, in the center of the green in kind of a rectangle shape and then also to string lights along Village Green. And we do have confirmation that all of this could be done with the power that's available from the Village Green. And Gr Village Green is willing to work with us on it. We don't have a proposal for lighting the trees on the other side of the sidewalk because um, those don't have any power. And so we can't go across the, the sidewalk with a cord. But this would at least get us started and PKK Lighting can do it this year. Um, hopefully very quickly, but they did t tell me um, that they, they've had more work requested in the last week than they'd had in the previous six weeks combined. So they said the sooner the better that um, they would try to get it, get it done quickly. And the benefit of working with PKK is that we do have an established relationship with them. They already handle all the banners and you know all the lighting work already in the downtown. I reached out to a few electricians. They all are too tied up and they can't do anything this year. So I think this is what we have and the cost not to exceed four thousand um, dollars. And they would pound the. Abby, you're around. breaking up. We would just leave them up because that if if the project got delayed. To yeah. you all hear me? Yeah. You were breaking up a little, Abby, and it looks like your video froze too. I'm going to go um, out into the council chambers because I have a little bit better connection when I go out there. So just one second. Okay. Sounds good. Sorry about that. So any, my first question will be the public safety. Is there any question of safety here? I mean, these are wires, they're all okay, but uh, would there be 
Yeah, this is for everyone. You think that could there be something happen and the city could get sued for a lot of money? So is there any question of public safety here? Could you speak more to the risk you're envisioning there? Yeah, yeah, the risk, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I'm with you, Dan, yes. What are, the, are you yeah. worried that the wires are not going to be high enough? Yeah, well, uh, if some kids get involved or entangled, yes. I, I don't know how the wires will be installed. Uh, I, I'm, you know, <laughs> if you're, somebody's child got entangled in the wires or they fell or something happened, that is, uh, that is important, right? So I would assume it'd be like 12 feet high unless the, the schematic states otherwise. Okay. I don't know if that so, was on, on Abby's. I think it said uh, minimum ten feet or something. Perhaps am I remembering right? I think ten feet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm thinking about precedent and what we can learn from other places that have done this. And mm. uh, like, for example, the Christmas tree is lit every year. Yep. 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 And I mean, granted, that's sort of like a little more set aside, and it's not strung all over the place but I was thinking about that too mayor and I was the only thing I was wondering is if Village Green would object if we could maybe um, if there would just be some way to to make sure that the wire is really secure going up the wall um, okay. that's you know as it as it sort of takes off from the outlet going up the side of the Village Green okay I don't well, know. I think getting these these con these folks in to do it, they do it professionally, and yeah, know, yeah, we, we, I think it'd be covered with that. And and I think Village Green is well motivated to have this all work well for them too. So okay, right, and and to that point, I guess if I may, Mayor, I'm wondering, would it be possible to move it a bit further west, or or to the left as we look at this diagram? So you know, it, it's more inviting for all the different areas versus just one area. But I think we're going to have lighting across the whole park, right? Or the whole green? No, I think the lighting is just this area. And, uh, and along the, the, um, that uh, the restaurant, that, that's, that's what the proposal is, I think. The village green, uh, there will be 100 foot long, wire there and and these in this set of this center. That's it, I think. Is that true, Abby? Um, I'm sorry, I missed what you said. I've I've gotten kicked out here twice now. Um, I think they're ha they must be having some Wi-Fi problems at City Hall. Sorry about that. Oh, I see. What was the question? The I think I, the, um, Dan, I'm sorry, I won't speak for you. Do you want to just repeat what you had to say? Because I think I misunderstood. Sure, of course. There was two things I wanted to make sure we covered. One, I, I wanted to make sure we addressed uh, Mayor's concerns about risk, and I, I think we have. Uh, and then secondly, uh, there was a bit of um, discussion about where the lighting would be. And I'd like to take one step back. I'm, I'm totally in support of this, the sooner the better. Uh, but there's some discussion as to whether the lighting would just be in those four blue bar areas or if it's all over the green. And then the last piece, and then I'll, let, I'll go on mute, is can we move it a bit to the left or to the west a little bit so it's more inclusive of all the businesses around? Sure, I think we can we can definitely move it to the west. What they tried to do is to just center the rectangle in the green. And also Understood. they're trying to avoid um, this circle, which represents the the um, the the post that's in the ground where a holiday tree can be installed if the DMBA decides to put one. So you can see that the spacing is a little bit wider between those two and that's to accommodate a tree if they decide to put one in. And they already have the post in the ground. So they tried to kind of center it over that area. If we moved it to the west, we could do that because there is this row of lights along the village green, but it might interfere with the DMBA's ability to get a tree in here in case they decide to do that. Um, if we were to, say, expand these posts 
out a little bit to cover more of the green. Um, I think that they would need to be taller so that we could still keep the distance of, I think it's like 10 feet off the ground at any point. So they would probably just need to make the, the post taller. What I don't know is um, when you have those additional strings of lights, if that would uh, start bumping up against the power capabilities at the village. Sure, sure. One other just quick question. Could we do one more panel to the left there? It may make it a bit asymmetric, but that, yeah, bump it out. Yep, um, I can I can certainly give him that direction. It's It probably would cost a bit more, but we could do that, I'm sure. Dan, are you thinking like 10 feet more or no, one whole, Extend it 30 feet and add another string of lights. Either or, yep. What are, I'm just throwing it out there. Yep, just trying to bump it out a little. Yep. I like that idea. I mean, I was thinking about this too when I looked at this design that um, there's nothing preventing the people who have shops and restaurants on the green from doing some outdoor lighting of their own is there abby i mean would they would every single one have to come before a plan commission um i don't think so no i think um you know we're trying to be flexible right now yeah and if a business puts up you know holiday lights we don't have any yeah. regulations against that so it would kind of be along those same lines i would think so if people wanted to provide more ambient lighting from their storefronts or restaurants or whatever, mm -hmm. that would also serve to kind of light the part that isn't covered by the PKK proposal around the perimeter, maybe. I mean, it's, you're not going to be standing under lights, but you'll get some more kind of light cast. Mm -hmm. if, so we, if we bump it out, are we negating our entire vote tonight because we're going to be going into more money? Um, I think you would need to pad that budget a little bit because if we're making the area larger than what is shown, I would assume that that would result in higher costs because it's more lights that they have to buy. If they have to make the post taller, that's, that's you know, more materials. If they have to add another post, you know, there, there are additional costs involved in that. Should we start with this and see how it looks? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a great it. idea. Oh, sorry, Christopher, you had your hand raised. Sorry about that. I apologize. Yeah, yeah Chris, go ahead. No, that's it. I, I agree with that. The other thing I was going to ask is, can the Middleton Review attendee please change their name so that we know who you are? Thank you. Okay. Um, no, and I and I think what's what's probably helpful um, with this is sort of to to make a decision on this is not necessarily to get too bogged down in the numbers of feet uh, and 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 how high the posts are and how long the cables and the lights are, but more about what's the end goal and how much of the space we're looking to illuminate, and then let's leave it to the professionals of exactly what they're going to do. And if it needs more illumination, if, it, if they didn't illuminate enough that people uh, could have that this as a usable space, then we can go back to them and say, hey, that really didn't live up to the expectations we need to modify. Something like that. I think that's a good idea that uh, let's start with something. And it looks like very symmetric now, the way it is put over there. Um, well, so and maybe they need to, and, and if we describe the, just one more thing I'll point out here is that if they, if they need to move the posts a little further away from, you know, and, and expand the footprint of where the lights are going with more <laughs> wires, that's up to them. If we communicate our goal is to illuminate the, are we illuminating 80%, 75% or 100% of the village green that people are going to be occupying? Um, I, I think that's probably just a, a good conversation to have with uh, PKK lighting, whoever they are. Yep. Okay. Can we, That's my two would, it, would it make sense, do you think, to frame our motion so we set a reasonable maximum budget that we think will allow room for a little more lighting and frame it in, you know, sort of along the lines of what you just said to achieve, Can I you ask, know, with a design that... Yeah. 
Where you did know, the 4,000 come from? Is that a not, now not to exceed? I'm unfamiliar with that. It, does that mean they've budgeted up to $4,000 to do this? Yep, they, they said that this could cost up to $4,000, um, but, but if they incur additional labor costs, um, that's that's already, you know, they've kind of built in some padding, I'm guessing, to their number in case some unforeseen circumstance arises, but they've told us that they will not exceed the $4,000 amount. Got it. Okay, well, I'm out of my element here. If this were up to me, I'd go to Menards and I could do this for 200 bucks, I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a professional job and, and I don't know what's all involved, so I, yeah, but I'm going to let other people talk on that. Uh, I asked the same question. That is a lot of money for $4,000, isn't it? So, so that's, I think uh, maybe Chris, you said, what are our goals here and what is the, our cost benefit ratio? So, I mean, uh, for normally the, in business, the rule of the thumb is that uh, for each dollar spent, as, as Katie can tell you, you get $5 back. So, so, so you think that uh, who, who uh, what are our goals here to help? Well, we are helping the businesses, but uh, uh, have to see in what way and how is that? Uh, I mean, thinking about doing? materials versus labor, the mm -hmm. incremental cost for a for a longer hole. Are they going to use four by fours, Abby? What are they going to use? Do you know? Yes. Four four by fours. Yeah. Ten feet high minimum. And then the additional cost for wire and lighting is that's probably it's probably the labor to set the posts. I would think so too, Kari. And so if we ask for more lighting with the same number of posts by moving them further apart, they might have to be taller as long as they felt that the design was safe. Yeah, and as long as it doesn't stretch the electrical capabilities of the VG. But so yep. it's, I, I guess I can figure this out, but it's basically one watt per LED light and about 48, no more than 40 lights per 50 feet of running feet of lighting. So that's, you know, it's not tough math to do to figure out what load that'll put on a 20 amp circuit. But they, I mean, they would know that. So. Kathy has her hand raised. Kathy. Yeah. I just want to make a comment. I, I know they're still planning on doing fire pits throughout the um, green. And I, I just want to make sure we leave enough open space where it's not going to be underneath the lights or, you know, so maybe we, I don't 25 feet along the edges. I don't know if that, but we want to leave enough open space for them. To That's do a that. great idea. That's a really good point. So, so what are our goals here? So I think, uh, so I be you have some or anyone who yeah, I mean, we want to would you want to give PKK the parameter that you want to cover as much of the green with lighting so that if somebody's sitting across from another person at a picnic table, you can see the you know easily see the person that you're talking with. You want to cover as much of the green as possible without, of course, overloading the village green's mm -hmm. ability to provide electricity. I mean, is that what you're looking for? I think so. And just like, I just looked it up and I was like, oh yeah, I learned this in high school, but um, at 120 volts, a 20 amp circuit will, can carry 2,400 watts. So that's a lot of lights at one watt per light. Okay, I never learned that in high school. You obviously <laughs> went to a better school than I'm I I'm not did. saying I remembered it like past the test, but I looked at it, it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, Dan Barker has his hand raised. Dan? Yeah, if I could, I, I'm not sure we want to cover the whole things with, with, with light. We don't, I just want to be gaudy in, 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 in a pillar scene for miles. Uh, my just original ask was that it was more just shift it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. at, at the end of the day, what I really want, it, and my goal is, is to make it a neat place where people drive past mm -hmm. and like, oh, that's cool. I want to, I want to bring my family out sometime. Or mm -hmm. wow, Middleton's, you know, we're still here. We're, you know, that's the goal. And, okay. and, and if we can help out the business and, and build community, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dan, are you oh, thinking God. like, just move it like 10 or 15, 20 feet the, in the uh, west? To the west, yep. Yeah. We have some challenges with one organization that's kind of taken on that. I'd just like to make sure everybody gets a fair shot at that. Yeah. So if we could move it 20, 20 feet, 
Yep, and I so definitely, I, 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 I very much appreciate you brought up that fire pit. We need to make sure we consider anything that's coming up as well. We, I'd hate to have to tear anything down. So great points. Yep. I, I think, uh, okay. so do you guys agree we can leave those details to the professionals? Uh, and number one, you agree that uh, this is something good to do and somebody is going to make a motion and then uh, we give the, provide the parameters and let Abby and uh, the staff work it out. Katie Nelson um, has her hand raised, Mayor. I, I, I only was going to say, just let's remember that we have that post for the tree yep. mm -hmm. and, um, and that I don't think that it's only going to benefit, you know, $1 spent making money for the businesses. I feel like we're doing this for everybody's sanity this winter. And um, I think anything we can do to help everybody feel better is priceless. Good, good, I'm with you. Okay, so need a motion to approve then. Um, this is Katie, I will move that we approve as drawn on the plan. With a cost up to not to exceed four thousand dollars. Not to exceed four thousand dollars. Okay, need a second. This is Kieran. I was going to weigh in just before you propose the motion there. Um, okay. Put on the uh, the cost. Um, so you know, just some quick arithmetic. If they've got three guys there for a day at four, you know fifty bucks an hour, that's going to get you up to twelve hundred bucks. Even an electrician probably at eighty or a hundred. So we're already up around two thousand before we start thinking about materials and whatever margin they have. So I just wanted to make sure everyone was kind of, you know, getting comfortable with the, hopefully it won't get all the way up to 4,000, but just so people are comfortable with the expenditure. It's, you know, not unreasonable, I think would be the fair thing to say. Okay, um, so you feel, you feel okay with it? Yeah, so I can second the motion, but okay. I just wanted to make sure that kind of got okay. that. Okay, 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 that's good. So, motion. I also support her comment that this is, not just about the businesses, it's also about providing an amenity for the community that they yeah. can use. So. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so the motion has been made by Katie Nelson, second by Kieran Corlong. Any further questions or comments? Okay, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. Okay, any other thing which you want to share? Well, of course, we don't have anything on the agenda. So everything else to help the downtown businesses and the city from CDA is moving forward. We have a small committee that's uh, meeting and doing things. Abby? Uh, we have a committee that has met one time and then there are a couple of other um, groups that we talked about forming at the last meeting and those groups haven't met yet. So one of them was like uh, the group that was gonna work on downtown landscaping hasn't, hasn't had a chance to meet yet. Okay. I can't remember what the other group was. <laughs> okay, so the mural is moving forward. I think one was on the signage. I think we had a little. Oh yeah. Group yes, group. yep, I owe you a draft of the language for the sign still. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget that. no smoking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I know the city council approved the mural. So they are supposed to come up with three or four options and that comes to CDA and then it goes to the city council, right, Abby? Um, well, actually, I don't think we would take the design to the city council. It would just go to the CDA and the arts committee. Okay. Okay. And the, um, I've been in touch with the muralists. They're starting to work on the three different designs already, and they expect to have something in the next week or so. Okay. So for sure, I think we'll have something by the time it's your, let's see, your October 8th meeting would be the next CDA meeting. Okay. So, so everything is, you're meeting with the DMBA, everything is moving forward as, as, as it should, right? Then? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not able to meet with the DMBA anymore because they, they have their meetings on Wednesday morning, which is the same day that we have our staff meetings. Oh, okay. Kathy, okay. Kathy met with them um, on Wednesday of last week, and she's going to provide an update to me. I'll talk with okay. her offline about it. Okay. So anything, uh, anybody has any more ideas or suggestions or... Uh... How could we do things better? Well, anyway, whatever you have, maybe 
give I'll, it to I'll, just, I'll, I'll just follow up um, that uh, Abby, I'll try to track down some of those links for shelters that I found that weren't too expensive and send them to you. Okay. And then maybe that can come on the October agenda. Yeah, that'd be great. And Jessica okay. Regal was going to try to track down some info too and reach out to some other businesses about a tent rental. Um, so hopefully mm -hmm. we'll have something for that by October 8th too. Okay. Okay, then we need a motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. I'll second. Okay, need this. Okay, so motion has been made and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Well, thank you. I think we are making progress and I think we are helping as much as we can. So, um, well, we are doing the best we can, right? Okay. Right. Good night. Yep. And thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.